Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of area and circumference of circles. This is standard 7.9b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 14 of the 2024 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a circle with an area of approximately 28.26 square centimeters. We need to find the measurement closest to the radius. All right, so let's draw just so we kind of have a general idea of what we're talking about. So let's pretend this is our circle, right? We've got a few different things that we can measure for the circle. So the circumference, right, is the area around the circle. Okay, so I always kind of think of this F and then ends like the fence goes around a yard. The circumference goes around a circle, kind of like a perimeter, except it's around a circle, right? And then on the inside, we have the area. Okay, so the circumference goes around. The area is going to be the area on the inside. And I'll just kind of put these lines here to show the area, just like same way that we have the area on the inside of a square or a rectangle. So I'm just going to make these hash marks. The area is on the inside. So we need that. We say the area is approximately 28.26 square centimeters. Now, radius and diameter. So those are two things that we should be familiar with, right? So here's our center. And if we go all the way across from side to side through the center, that is called our diameter. If we go from the middle or the center just to one side, that is our radius. So these are things that we need to know coming into it because none of these are defined for us on the star test. And you'll notice that if you put the radius, uh, two back-to-back -back radius together, right, you're going to get the diameter because it's just from the center to either side. So let's take a look at our reference materials, and we're going to see we have uh, something at the top of the reference material there for circle, but that's the circumference, 2 pi r, to, or the pi times diameter. We don't need that. What we're looking for is we want the area of, and I'll put that at the top. So here's my area, and then, then let's find the area of a circle, right? Pi r squared. So that is the formula that we could use. So let's put that a equals Let's put that, there we go, pi r squared. All right, so what do we know? We know what the area is, 28.26. All right, so I'm going to substitute that in. So if a equals 28.26, so I can just substitute that in here, and I can say 28.26 equals pi r squared. And we are looking for the measurement that is closest to the radius. So we're looking for that radius right there. So I need to isolate that radius. Well, I would need to divide both sides by pi. We don't have a calculator here, but if we divide both sides by pi, right, what are we going to get? Well, let's say pi is about, you know, pi is about 3.14. So if I did... 28 divided by 3.14, right? Sometimes what we'll do is we'll substitute a really close approximation for pi is, is 3, right? So if I make th that 3, what I'm kind of seeing here is the closest multiple of 3 to the 28.26 is 27. So if I, and it's a little bit above 27 and 3.14 is a little bit above uh, that 3, so I'm just going to say it's about 9, because it's about 28, or, you know, call about 27 divided by 3, or 28 plus 26 divided by 3.14. So, 9, about, and that's good, because that's a perfect square. Take the square root of both, and I get 3 equals r. And if we want, we can plug that back in, and we're going to get about that 28.26, right? So, 28.26 equals pi times that 3 squared or 9 squared. So our answer here is A.